Validating email addresses in Delphi. Is an email address valid? Validating email addresses in Delphi nowadays it's very common that our programs store email addresses in databases as part of the data of personnel, customers, providers, etc. When prompting the user for an email address, how do we know if the entered value is formally correct? In this article I'll show you how to validate email addresses using a variation of the RFC number 822. The RFC number 822 rules the standard for the format of ARPA Internet text messages. According to this rule, the following are valid email addresses. John Doe John Doe at server.com John Doe John Doe John Doe at server.com John Doe The purpose of my code is not to validate such things, but strictly what is necessary to reach a single recipient, like John Doe at server.com that in the specification is referred as an address spec, which has the form, local part at domain local part equals one word or more, separated by periods domain equals one subdomain or more, separated by periods a word can be an atom or a quoted string, Atom equals one or more chars in the range hashtag 33 hashtag 126 except at comma colon backslash slash dot quoted string equals a text enclosed in double quotes that can contain zero or more characters hashtag zero hashtag 127 except and number 13 a backslash backslash quotes the next character a subdomain can be a domain ref an atom or a domain literal domain literal equals a text enclosed in brackets that can contain zero or more characters Hashtag zero hashtag one twenty seven except and number thirteen a backslash backslash quotes the next character according to the RFC eight hundred and twenty two extended characters Hashtag 128 hashtag 255 cannot be part of an email address, however many mail servers accept them and people use them, so I'm going to take them into account. The RFC 822 is very open about domain names. For a real internet email address maybe we should restrict the domain part. You can read more about domain names in the RFC number 1034 and RFC number 1035. For the RFC 1034 and the RFC 1035, a domain name is formed by subdomains separated by periods, and each subdomain starts with a letter, a Z, A, Z, and should be followed by zero or more letters, digits, and hyphens, but cannot end with a hyphen. 
We are going to consider that a valid domain should have at least two subdomains, like host.com. Now that we have the rules clear, let's get to the work. The algorithm for the function resembles a state's transition machine. Characters of the string are processed in a loop and for each character first we determine in which state the machine is and then we process the character accordingly, to determine if the machine should continue in that state, switch to a different state or produce an error, breaking the loop. These kind of algorithms are extensively treated in programming algorithms textbooks, so let's get right to the code, function valid email, email, string boolean, slash slash returns true if the email address is valid slash slash author, Echo beta d spirito const slash slash valid characters in an atom atom underscore chars equals hashtag thirty three hashtag two fifty five at colon backslash slash dot number one hundred and twenty seven slash slash valid characters in a quoted string quoted underscore string underscore chars equals hashtag zero hashtag two fifty five number thirteen backslash slash slash valid characters in a subdomain letters equals a z a z Letters underscore digits equals zero nine and Z a Z subdomain underscore chars equals dash zero nine and Z a Z type states equals state underscore begin state underscore atom state underscore text state underscore car state underscore quote state underscore local underscore period state underscore expecting underscore subdomain state underscore subdomain state underscore hyphen var state states i n subdomains integer c char begin state equals state underscore begin n equals length email i equals one subdomains equals one while i c equals email i case state of state underscore begin if c in atom underscore chars then state equals state underscore atom else if c equals then state equals state underscore text else break state underscore atom if c equals at then state equals state underscore expecting underscore subdomain else if c equals dot then state equals state underscore local underscore period else if not c in atom underscore chars then break state underscore text if c equals backslash then state equals state underscore car else if c equals then state equals state underscore quote else if not c in quoted underscore string underscore chars then break state underscore car state equals state underscore text 
state underscore quote, if C equals add then state equals state underscore expecting underscore subdomain else if C equals dot then state equals state underscore local underscore period else break, state underscore local underscore period. If C in atom underscore chars then state equals state underscore atom else if C equals then state equals state underscore text else break. State underscore expecting underscore subdomain. If C in letters then state equals state underscore subdomain else break. State underscore subdomain. If C equals dot then begin ink, subdomains, state equals state underscore expecting underscore subdomain and else if C equals dash then state equals state underscore hyphen else if not, C in letters underscore digits, then break, state underscore hyphen, if C in letters underscore digits then state equals state underscore subdomain else if C dash then break and ink I and if I result equals false else result equals state equals state underscore subdomain and subdomains equals 2, and, any collaboration to improve this function will be welcome. You can find the full source code of this article in the archive that accompanies the Pascal newsletter number 22.